just throw in it. Hmm. Bit like that. <laughs> oh, you got one passing. Morning, guys. Oh, that's sorry. Hello. A little bit brighter than it was <clears throat> an hour ago, but again, thanks to everyone for for tuning in with us. Uh, eight o'clock, Tuesday morning, day two of the lockdown. Um, again, whether you're joining us from Guildford as a swimmer, whether you're a parent of a swimmer, um, or whether you are joining us from another club from around the world, thanks for being here with us. Hopefully you got a lot of doing the work that we put on for you yesterday. And it was really great to see some of the, some of the, uh, the Twitter activity going on. Again, Tegan, thanks to you. Um, Lexi, County A, amazing effort, fantastic work. And to Harry Welsh for posting us his challenge time yesterday. It was absolutely incredible to see everyone engaging in the way that they have done. And it's definitely going to make it a lot easier for all of us to stay together as a community and, and, a, and a club, ultimately. So you've got Amelie, Shaw, B, um, Matt Smart, Tegan... Savannah, Lara, they're all saying hi. Good morning, guys. I hope you're, uh, hope you're all well today. And really looking forward to making the most out of all of your, your free time that you've got when you get to leave the house. We're just going to leave it a minute or so just to see if other people are going to join in and watch with us. We're going to take a little screenshot of today's session just to make sure that we are good to go. We're going to make a couple of little changes to the formula from yesterday based on the feedback, which by the way, guys, fantastic. The more you give us, the more we're going to change this. So this is going to essentially become your, your videos. Uh, we're doing it for you, ultimately, to try and help you have a bit, uh, a bit more to do during the day, help you stay fit and robust and happy. Lexi, Jess, Amelia, they all say hi. Hi girls, how are you today? Uh, we've got a question. Uh, recording the challenges, where should we post the times and what challenge is it today? Okay, so yeah, I've got time. We'll give it, give it a little minute just to let everyone catch up and I will cover it again at the end, guys, if you did miss it. So today's challenge is themed around adaptability. And I've just closed it. Very smart. Okay, so today, yeah, today's movement challenge for adaptability. So again, like everything we've got going on, we thought it might be an opportunity for you all to explore some new avenues. And I know, for example, we've got uh, Lottie Roberts, Charlotte Cope, and a lot of other girls from around the club that are exceptional gymnasts, um, as well as swimmers. So this could be a great chance for you to bundle together as a group and start sharing some of your, your athleticism. So I tasked everybody today to spend 30 minutes learning a new skill and just to share it online with hashtag GCSC, hashtag your squad name, and then hashtag adaptability. So it doesn't matter what that is, you can completely make up. And I remember the guys in County A last year when I worked with them were really great at coming up with their own stuff and bits and pieces to do. When we had the mats out on poolside, um, things like duck walks when I taught them that, sea marches, which other people know now, and whenever we used to do freestyle, freestyle movements. So there's lots of great resources out there in terms of where to share it. And I may, there's going to be time, I might try my hand at it, albeit concrete and, and frosty grass, but it's not going to stop me having a go. So it's a little bit, if you want to, I would maybe recommend having a look at some of the other sessions as well. Do some of the trunk bits, definitely try and do an aerobic set. So now that we're allowed one, one period of time out of the house a day to exercise, I would explore that. If you're, if you're one of the older ones in, in regs, or... Uh, an older athlete, an older swimmer in general, you want to do another hard session as well as the skill thing, absolutely do that. You only have to do one of the aerobic sets a day, it doesn't matter which one, it doesn't have to be one, then two, then three, you can do, pick any one you want as long as this week you've done all of them at some point. That's our recommendation to you. No problem with you doing more if you feel comfortable and, and you're happy and you're recovering so that you can stay with us during these videos. Hopefully that all makes sense. Again, if you have any questions about what I've put up and, and how I've formatted it, then, then by all means just get hold of us, get hold of Lee, get hold of your squad, your uh, lead squad coach. Reach out to me. I had a couple of emails yesterday. 
and there's no point if, during all this that I'm going to see it as an inconvenience. It's only going to help me become better as as the lead S and C for the club and and helping you get through uh, what we're all going through together. Ultimately, uh, how many people have we got? Uh, we got seventy six. I'll just quickly read out. Um, morning, uh, Susanna. Don't worry about Gabriella. Jordan will see in the comment after that she is logged on. Um, so nice to see her Thanks on here as well. Susanna. Um, and Gareth asking what are up downs. I will get Jordan to go through that after he's done the main start of this morning so don't worry about that yeah my advice is basically we'll go again go through at the end so that you can get the very beginning the very end of the video for the, these little bits up down is just start to push a plank and then you're going to drop into a forearm plank and then back up without your hips rocking all over the place like that a lot of core control very slow, up, down, up fast. Everyone saying hello. Sorry if I don't get a chance to read your names out. It comes across really quickly, but don't worry, Jordan goes through all the comments after, so he will see everyone that said hello to him. I'm, I'm fully committed, guys, to giving every single person that's going to give us their time a shout out um, in any way that I can. Uh, there's about 120 comments yesterday by the end, um, barring repeats from people. Um, I will go through and, and comment on every single one, so please just keep engaging, keep, keep. Uh, stay on the journey with us. So you got 80 people <clears throat> with us now. 80 people. Mm -hmm. wow. Okay, so we'll get going then. As soon as I can figure out how to use my phone. <laughs> there we are, all good to go. So warm up time guys. Like we said from some of the feedback yesterday, I'm going to do the warm up with you, give you a rundown of every exercise on the session today with a little bit of explanation, a tiny bit. And then I'm going to do round one with you. I'm going to read the times out, make sure you're all working hard. And then do the same for round three. We'll do a cool round together. And then we'll go over any other little bits and pieces. Keep the comments coming in. Debbie's going to read them out to me afterwards just to make sure that we're addressing everything. So you've got all the tools you need to be able to have a good session this morning. So the session that we'll warm up is the same as we yesterday. So I'm just going to go through our normal walk at circuit that we do at Guildford. Just to give you a little bit of a variety in what you're doing. So, walk out series, for those that don't know, you're gonna go bodyweight squat, toe touch, walk out into a push up, then you're gonna go rotation plank, just like we did yesterday, onto one side, go around onto the other side straight away. Then you're gonna go Spider Man lunge, so from there, in your push up position, just go, bring your foot towards your hand, reach into it nice straight back. Then you're going to swap over. Really open up your hips. A little bounce if you think you need to. Then you're going to go downward dog. So shove your head between your wrists and put your hips up into the air. Kick your leg up as hard as you can. Pitch and stretch. And then repeat on the other side. So downward dog into kick. Pigeon stretch. Drop your knee down, push it out, pull it in. Make sure you get a nice big stretch. It's going to be a little different for everybody. We'll bounce. Walk yourself back up. So with that, we're going to spend a couple of minutes, go through three to five of them. Just see how you feel today. Get your shoulders nice and loose. Work your hips up. Get your core nice and tight. So one more from me. We'll speed up a little bit. If you have any questions, absolutely let me know. I'm just doing this to show you how much of a flowing movement it should be. So Bella says she's ready. Scarlett says she's ready. Hi, Jordan. This is great, says Eris. Um, good morning from us, uh, from Wendy Whitehead. Yeah. Good morning, Wendy. Hmm. Another one of the things to cover is make sure you keep going through that walkout series, guys. Like I said, three to five. So I did one as a slow demonstration, one a little bit faster. But you wanted to flow <laughs> as much as you can. I thought it was the cat. <laughs> um, okay, so I had a couple of questions yesterday. If you don't have a foam roller, 
that you want to do some of those little movement preparation little bits. Same as we covered yesterday, if you don't have a foam roller, just use, use your hands. So, if you're looking at your quads, push one finger into the muscle that you want to try and loosen off. Use the other hand to push it down as well. And then you start to straighten, like contract and relax that muscle there and work your way up. Same thing, so where if the foam roller was like using a big paintbrush to colour in the muscle, using your, th your hands, your knuckles is going to be sort of like using just a pen. So a little squeaky bit there, straight and relax. Same with hamstrings, get underneath, lift your leg up, let it dangle, just relax backwards and forwards. Again, some of you in, in regional and county A that I've seen poolside, we've gone through some little bits and pieces like this. If you've had little niggles, same with chest, push your knuckle in, do some shoulder rotations, so that's on there as well for you to do. Go the other way, try and replicate some of the movements that you'll do in your stroke as well. If you don't feel anything, you're one of the lucky ones. It means you probably haven't got a great deal of mobility you really need to try and find through doing these kinds of things. Just please make sure that every day you are repeating some of the same patterns just so you can get a feel for what you need. And then another one you can do is a Russian squat. So you go down, wrap your hands under your feet, where you pull yourself down into that, into the bottom of that, push your elbows into the, your upper, behind your upper part of your leg, behind your knee, and pull your shoulders down. And we'll finish off with some shoulder rolls and IYT. Just don't take for granted when you get a little bit older that your shoulders might start to clip and grumble a little bit. Especially that's mainly in the parents that are watching and joining in with us today. And beyond that, I think we're good to go. Glute bridges. Just to help you warm up, we've got some bridge walk in the session today. So we've got to really make sure that, like we always do at Guildford, feet out front, toes up. Big squeeze. And for those I haven't shown, if you want to do a frog bridge, you want to adapt it, what you do, put the bottoms of your feet together like that, and then push yourself up. It's the exact same thing. It's maybe, you could maybe argue a little bit more breaststroke specific, because you're getting more of a stretch in your reductors at the top, sort of like the leg position you'd be in just at the, as you start the in sweep of your kick. So that is again, a set of feet down, feet together, same thing, push your hips up and feet into the floor. And it should just about feel like someone's wrapped the band around the inside of your leg and it's just getting a bit more of a stretch in your hips rather than warming up your muscles. What does that take us to? Quarter past, a couple of extra minutes. So if you wanted to, some of the games we did yesterday for the aerobic part actually are showing a pretty good one. So for the kids at home, I was about the bean game. Have you done the bean game before? No. What is okay. the bean game? So the parents, if you want to do this with some of the younger ones, you just have to get them to replicate being a bean. So you do the juggle on the spot as your base. The instructions are then going to be, Demi's going to talk to me about this now, I'm showing her. <laughs> so if someone calls like baked bean, especially you know how concrete baked bean, grow a lot nice and small. <laughs> Until they say go, get back up. Broad bean, you're going to get nice and wide low and wide as you can until they say go back in string bean jump up into streamline get as nice and long and as thin as you can really hold the streamline position and then runner bean with a knee a little you know, sprint i fully intend to use this in tesco's later <laughs> <laughs> it's not like seal face you can't just <laughs> crack it out anyway i'm not seal facing on the camera <laughs> so again i'm going to keep demi a minute to talk to me with that. Uh, parents feel free to go up with swimmers, and swimmers feel free to do it. So just run through as well. what the different beans are. So you've got one more to go through without the jogging in between. So you're yeah. gonna go baked bean, down. I'm gonna pretend I've got that, so jog. Come out of each one after they say stop. Stop just means go back to jogging. So stop. Broad bean, nice wide. 
squat and drop. String bean. Okay, but up. Try not too much. Here we go. Jump up into a nice, really long streamline, guys. As long as you can get your fingers up to the sky for the ceiling. And then oh, runner bean is just a high knee sprint, which I know a lot of you do in your pre pull when you're asked to anyway. So a little bit, I'm just gonna grab a drink and then we'll get going. We've got a minute or two of that. Again, please use this game responsibly. <laughs> don't, don't hurt anyone with it. Oh. All right. Jack is coming off getting serious now, guys. too much enjoyment from this guys. Runner beam. Go. Uh, broad beam. <laughs> Go. Oh, Big <man>. beam. <laughs> Go. String bean, was it? <laughs> Go. Oh, 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 is. Little break, little ten second yeah. break. Uh, Tracy, I will get Jordan to explain that. Actually, can you explain something now? Yes. Yeah. Um. So we've forgotten what a leg lower is. Please help us. A leg lower. Okay. Tracy, I will remember that before we start the main session. I'm just going to get through this game, and I will go over it with you. And go. Guys, feel free to tell me what I should get them to do because I'm just going to giggle the whole time. Yeah, comment which one you want to see next. And a shout out to Emily Seymour from Bluefins for reminding me of this game. Uh, broad bean. Uh. Go. Run the bean. Go. Fake bean. <laughs> Go. Oh, string bean. Five seconds. You got two people saying that, so you got to do that for a bit longer. Oh, time's up. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh. Thanks, guys. Oh, I think Demi's going to protect you with anonymity, so I won't know who. Who was trying to punish me? Right, so hopefully everyone's a little bit out of breath. Um, I've, I've long since ac accepted that it's going to take a little bit of time for me to catch up with you all. Um, okay, leg lower. Sorry, that'll give me a chance. So leg lower, Tracy. Line your back. Legs up in the air, hands by your side. Ideally, don't have a pad actually, because you want to make sure, guys, keep your core tight the whole time. It's all about core engagement. So hands down, just nice and slow down. Just before you touch the ground, come back up. The only exception is, if you start to arch your back, so if I stand up, so you can see me there. If you do the leg lower part, and your back does that, so your mum or dad or whoever can fit their hand under your back, just hold it. So if I go from there, and slow, and start to lose it, just relax. Come back up, and it really makes you, or you can hold it. Instead of doing the lower in part, hold it where you're struggling, until you can build up that strength to hold your core position. One and way much. I found this one a bit easier, because I always used to struggle with my back staying flat, is if you have a towel underneath you, and you have to try and pin it down so no one will be able to pull that from underneath you. Yeah. Um, it's a good way of just focusing on your back, staying flat. Or a piece of paper, you want a chance to have a little piece of paper, something, yeah. a credit card, something you, no, no parent ever wants to lose control of. Uh, Tegan's asked, can you remind us of what up downs are, please? Okay, so we're going, guys, last song before we go through the full thing. Up down. Just remember, 
push up, push up plank, kick down, back up, like that. I'm going to get going because other people have got school, etc. Get to push your classrooms. So today's low body number one. It's going to be very low body focus. I'm going to rely a lot on this to begin with. So you've got a short bridge. It means your, your hips are nice and close to a box or a seat or something. 90 degree hip knee. Bridge. So you can stay up here for 30 seconds. A lot of tension through your hip and hamstring. Nice tight core. Elbows off the ground. Other leg can do whatever, just don't cross it. Over. Same for the other side. Forearm plank. Classic forearm plank. So nothing fancy here, just elbows on the shoulders. Keep your hips nice and level. Watch your core. If you really, really struggle, drop to your knees. With the best but the best you can do with that is make sure that your body position is nice and level with no hollows in your back like you wouldn't want in the water. All of this just feels that your body position is going to be the same regardless. Arms and legs are going to be able to, have to be able to do stuff while you're swimming. All of this is about training the your rear midriff to do nothing while the rest of what's going on. Squat hold. So literally you're just going to get parents tiny. Sit down there. Hips in line with knee. None of this. You're going to hold me accountable as well, so I'm going to have to be here for the first round of it. Um, if you really struggle, like really can't hold position, you start to do some of this. Then just come up a little bit so you can keep your keep your core nice and tight again, like usual. Nice solid trunk positions, vital for everything. Then flat to kick, right down, the same as you would when you swim. Send your back, keep that into the floor again. Point your toes up and down. And again, if your back starts to come up, maybe bend your knees in a little bit but still have your ankles crossing over. Really important that that doesn't lose its position. And then vertical jumps, which again, speaks for themselves. But you should go with the parent, like we did with the burpee things. So just as high as you can. Or have someone go, take your marks. On a cue. Three runs of 30 seconds. Round one I'll do with you. And after that, I'm just gonna make sure that you're all on point following along with me. So short bridge, you're gonna go in, set your feet up, be 10 seconds from there. So any questions you have, then I'm just gonna remember them, we'll cover them at the end. you do is bring yourself closer to the box so if you start to get halfway through feel your back start to round don't stop just get a bit closer carry on as fast you can 30 seconds we've got eight seconds left just really help each other through is motivate yourselves relax you got a little 10 second break in between to adjust myself a little bit and going in three two one Let's go. So how many of you are having competitions with your parents with all of this? Um, make sure you're taking pictures and posting them online. Jordan will go through all the hashtags at the end again. Ten seconds left on this one, guys. Again, don't, don't mind what this leg's doing as long as it's above this knee and it's not just dragging around down here. Two. One, relax. Great job so far, everyone. Little break, very, very brief. Just roll yourself straight into a forearm plank. And we'll go again. Elbows and feet set up. Three, two, one, and go. Catherine Simpson Jones is they are having competition. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who's winning so far? <laughs> okay, six seconds left on this one, guys. Make sure you keep your shoulders nice and tight. Squeeze your hips, feet together. Relax. Sorry, feet hip width apart. Squat hold. So, a little bit of time. Stand up. If you've got a chair to support yourself with in case you fail, I'll go for that. Three, two, one. Let's go. 
Try and keep your hands off your knees, everybody. Just stay nice and tall. Hands on shoulders. <laughs> Savannah's winning. Savannah's winning. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Keep going, guys. And use each other. Help motivate each other. It's going to be much more fun if we work together on this. Whew. Okay, 10 seconds. Even the coach is cheating there. <laughs> the chair is just there for safety, guys. So if you want to collapse, you can sit back, collect yourself, and carry on. Two, one, relax. Sarah says, hi, Jess is here. Good morning, Jess. I hope you have as much fun as I am with this. So then into flutter kicks. Just gonna lie down. Again, back position is key here, guys. Going in three. Mind the chair. Two, one. Okay, let's go. Could have been blueprint number two. <laughs> blueprint number one for these guys. Um, and don't worry, I will get Jordan to explain an inverted row at the end. So any other questions, just send them through. I'll remember them and I'll get Jordan to go through all those bits at the end. Okay, get, get to the end here, guys. Last five seconds. Keep it going. Yep, no problem. Um, if yeah, Lee relax. is on here, I'll get Lee to type the hashtags. If not, I'll get Jordan to say them throughout. So can you do it now and then at the end, Tan? Yep. Thank you. Okay, so flutter kicks, vertical jumps. I'm going to get Demi to set me off because I find it more more exciting when someone's going to get me one to jump on a cue. So two, one, 30 seconds worth off you go. What are we doing? Take your marks. Okay, go. take your marks, go. So each time? Yep. Okay, so take your marks. Go. Take your marks. Go. Oh, go into a split if you want. Take your marks. Go. Take your marks. Go. One more. Take your marks. Go. Ooh, and that's round one. So we'll have a two minute break guys, make sure you take on some water. Some other points I'll reiterate during round two and three, make sure you stay engaged. If people want to shout out, I'm more than happy to have a little chat with you. Make sure you're all carrying on. What's the hashtags? So the hashtags are GCSC, so it's the club name. Um, hashtag your squad name. So whether the, whether you're in junior county B, A, county A, regs, doesn't matter or your club name, so if you're not from Guildford, put the Guildford, put your club name. And then today's theme is adaptability. So the hashtag adaptability. <coughs> Got to see how we have Coach Garfield joining us on video number one. And any other coaches from around the club, you're more than welcome to join in with me. I know Lewis is certainly going to be putting a shift in while he's in between working on his sports science bits and pieces. Um, later on today, me and Demi are going to sit down, try and put together some some uh, mobility bits and pieces. So some of the foam roller uh, videos, just little one minute snippets. So it's, you know, it's nice and easy for, you, easy for you to drop in. I'm going to put some more exercise demonstrations. So if you have any any ideas about what you want to see, let us know in the comments. And we'll make sure that goes to the top of the list so that it's easy for you to carry on and pick up. Because again, I don't want anyone to feel left out or left behind if they haven't worked with me day to day. Because a lot of this is very similar just to get us into a routine. If you don't know what I'm talking about, which, you know, knowing me is probably quite likely, <laughs> with that ramble sometimes, just stay with us. Let us know what you want, what you need, and we'll do our absolute best to support you with that. Yeah. In 15 seconds, guys, get one more quick little drink. I'm going to go through round two, just little adaptations, but mainly going to be talking to you, making sure you stay engaged parents let us know how they're getting on if you have any questions there's the time three two one let's go so megan zach and mum all joining in today fantastic great again to have everyone with us hope you're all doing well today and let us know if there's anything that we can do for you so on the videos that we're going to do later, they'll just be quick little videos demonstrating certain moves, certain things that you can do. So if there's something that you want Jordan to show, just pinpointing a certain move slower, um, please put it in the comments and he'll read them and then he'll do those Two, videos. One, leave that one there then guys. As quick as you can, just drop one foot off, one foot up, ready to go. And we're leaving in three, two, one, off you go. Up, hold yourself. 
want, you can go up and down with the other leg. Doesn't really matter. Just a little bit of extra work if you feel you want to challenge yourself. But for today, at least for the first few days, you want to make sure you're able to handle the work that we're giving you so that you can stay healthy enough, happy enough to carry on doing it with us instead of going really hard on day one, running out of, running out of steam, and then recovering for the rest of the week. Leave that one there then. So we're going to move on to forearm planks. Roll over onto your front. Set yourselves up. Going in three, two, one. Let's go. Try to think of variations. If you start to feel like you're tiring out, you want to get a little bit more, uh, more easy to do. You can go with a full wide leg. Press a plank. Hold that position there. Makes it a little bit more comfortable to hold that body position as you go through. So make sure you really push your hands into the floor so you get a lot of engagement through your shoulder. So work on that shoulder stability a little bit. And then we're going to go relax into a squat hold. Okay, so squat hold. We're going to go again in three, two, one, and go. So where have you guys decided to turn into a gym this morning? Is it your living room? Are you doing it outside in the garden like us? If you are, it's a bit cold. <laughs> Again, if you really start to struggle with this one, guys, just do a split squat hold to set yourself up. Still getting a lot of really good work done here. It's just a bit more manageable if you start to get out of breath and we want you to stay with us throughout all of this. So a little bit of a half hold. You've got two more rounds left, so you can do one side on this round, relax. On the next one, you'll switch feet. Just remember which one you started with. Lots of kicks. So again, I'll go through an alternative for now so that if you can't manage it, you've got something to do. Two. One, off you go. So flutter kick, a little bit more dynamic, a lot of movement going on. Very similar. Make sure you really point your toes. Keep a nice, tight, engaged core. Make sure you're using your hips. Or you go single leg lower. Other alternative, you just go dead bug. So up here, off the hand to foot, back up. Down again, and that's 30. Dead bugs should are on the rest of the programs for the week. These are literally just about trying to make sure you stay with us. And vertical jump. So this one I'm gonna go without Demi's help, but if you want guys, keep going with your parents. Two, one, go. You can do a split like you are on the blocks. Nice straight back. It's at the end of the session because we want to see how high you can go when you're tired. So if you start off really high, losing your breath, it means you'll know how much you're improving as time goes on. Other than that, you have a little box sit. And then just another way to freshen it up, keep it exciting. Absolutely, end of round two. If you want to come up with your own variations on this, share with us online, keep engaging with us. Let's, let's see what you're up to. See how creative you can be. And a lot of you younger ones, like I said yesterday, definitely helped, helped us with ideas around what we can do in land training. And it just, it just means it becomes your session. And it just ties into you taking responsibility for your training and supporting your team as you go through. And have we got any more questions? Uh, no questions, questions, but well done, guys, for making the most of the space you've got. Uh, Steve's using the conservatory, which sounds nice getting the sunshine and the warm uh gabriella there in the kitchen nice and close to a cup of tea i guess i should have thought of that <laughs> um i haven't forgotten anything have i there was i think i've covered the ones that people were asking for you have indeed i've got one to go for at the end but i'll do it um i've got a minute so i may as well use it an inverted row oh inverted row i'm gonna have to grab the box for that yeah um, what we can do is we'll do a separate video on the inverted row. That can be one of the first ones that we'll upload for you guys. Uh, as long as you have a coffee table, guys. So you've got a table you can grab underneath to replicate an inverted row. Or one of the other options that I've put for people that can't do that is a bent over row. To get your school bag, just a couple of books and then nothing, you know, nothing heavier than you would do normally. Try and replicate that straight back position. So like we did yesterday, I think at the end of the video. Straight back position. 
bend your knees a little bit. This is the key bit here, so they've even done a fantastic job on her video on Twitter if you have a look at that. And just pull it in, down nice and slow. Back up where you squeeze your elbows into your sides. Inverted row is basically just this, but you're lying on your back, like I said, I'll make sure it goes into a video. So you've got a really nice resource just to have a quick jump in and see how you're doing. We've got reasons. people in the kitchen, on their landing, uh, in the lounge, in the bedroom. I love the fact that someone's doing it in the front garden. It means that people are going to see out in the street as well, get everyone so else active. Yep. Right, so that's the end of the last rest, guys. We're going to go again together. Stay strong. Three, two, one, and go. So again, if you start to struggle a little bit with this one, guys, you can just do some raises. Three, two, one, up, nice big hold. Step nice and tall. Or, you can do it without that, make it a bit easier. Just go into a normal glute bridge, feet out, really challenge yourself. Or, you can just do it as a raise. So I go up on two, take a leg away. Make sure you hold that hip position really well so you don't go up and then drop yourself down and stop there, switch sides. Coach Matt is in the kitchen. Three, two, one, off we go. Yeah, Matt's, I think Matt's squad are dead set on trying to do him in. The amount of challenges he's had thrown his way. Yeah. They've been a lot more forgiving to me. <laughs> um, but, you know, uh, the, the, Megan gave him a really cool looking skipping challenge yesterday. Um, Tegan's given him I think, three challenges by now. But well, I mean, Tegan, don't, don't feel like you have to back off on that, keep him on his toes. Relax there, guys. I feel like you guys should give him the bean challenge like we did with Jordan earlier. Oh, yeah, the hashtag bean challenge for, for all the Guildford City coaches. Yeah. Four and plank in three, two, one. Let's go. What else can we do? We're going to make it a bit more exciting. So, Maxwell, in particular, I know that we've done this one together before. So you can go on hands down into our press up plank march. There, hands on the core tight. You're not kicking up wildly like a, like a donkey. You're just gonna lift your foot off the floor. So it's like a very small upbeat of a kick. Just hold your hip position. Relax there. So squat hold again, guys. Literally a minute and a half worth of work left to do. So stay strong, stay with us. Three, two, one, let's go. So like I said, if you're doing the split squat, unlike me, remember which side you're gonna work with, and that's my least favorite side, so it must have been this one. So set your feet up. It's like a lunge position, but you're just gonna stay where you are. And make sure that you don't drop your belly. But yeah, that's tight. Don't fall over. Ten more seconds. Hope you're doing, doing really well. Trying your best. So with this one, Jordan, is your knee in line with your foot? Um, it's a little bit behind. Just for holding your hip position, relax. Mm -hmm. It should be. So if you're watching the video there, you want to make sure it's not jiggling around over the place. So yeah, keep it in the middle, pushing forward. And then flutter kick. So I'm going to go dead bug, or you can go double dead bug. Two, one. Let's go. So ideally guys, the way that we've programmed it, we really want you to be trying to focus on the things we've written. Flutter kick for this, the back starts to give way, so hold it back. So maybe to this week, maybe today, you can hold one and a half rounds of flutter kick, and then you need to switch. So the next week, we'll be looking to see whether you can try and finish two rounds of flutter kick, and then maybe the week after that, you'll be strong enough Stay with us and finish all three rounds. Relax well, there. Um, Emma Northmore, my dogs are joining in. Please get a video of that to send Absolutely. in. That would be amazing. We insist. <laughs> Jumps to finish off. So three, two, one. Let's go. So again, your box jump. You want to make it more hard. Keep your hands on your hips. And some of the older ones, some of the younger ones actually. Max one. Some of the county eight kids are doing a fantastic job. All the work they've done with Steve that we've been working on Wednesday nights. 
the jump so it's not to get really, really high for the size of their bodies. So if there's any tadpoles again, it doesn't matter what level you are if you're in the academy, please stay with us. I look forward to seeing how you all get on with this. We'll all get stronger together. Leave that there. Give yourself a pat on the back there, guys. Well done to everyone that took part. Grab a drink. See what we see come, uh, coming out of the social media on this one. Yeah. So. My cat Freddie has to des- decided to join in. That's from Chase uh, Tracy. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. Cats and dogs all getting involved. <laughs> My cat Flora's gone off somewhere today. I think she. She, she had enough of us yesterday. She, she wasn't having any of it after yesterday's debacle. <laughs> okay, so normal stretch off routine that we go through after every session. Grab your quads. Grab your ankles. Sorry. Hold on your hips. You don't want to pull too hard, because like we said with some of the other exercises, you want to hold your, hold your stomach nice and tight, like you're holding your body position in the water, but it means that you're just going to stretch this muscle. So some of you have had little knee niggles, talk to me about that. Could be you've got tight quadriceps, you wouldn't be surprised. You all work really hard a lot, of, like all the time. So it's really important that you concentrate, focus on your breathing, keep that tight and just feel the stretch in the front of your leg. You don't feel it there, you feel it somewhere else. If you feel it in your hip, it might mean that you've gone for one of these, which is nice. But like we said, it means that you've switched off and it means that you're stretching things in a way that it is not helpful. It's transferring to everything else you need to do. Every, every stretch has a job and you wanna make sure that you're doing it as well as you can so that you can continue to grow and make sure that you stay healthy. This isn't even about swimming fast, this is just about taking care of your body at this point. And Nicola says this is a great idea. Um, and then we've got a volume challenge idea. A thousand skips in 20 minutes. I love that. Yeah. Any challenge ideas, any game ideas, or just anything you want to see Jordan do. I took great delight in making him suffer with the bean game earlier. Send for your suggestions and we will carry on doing those in the videos. Absolutely. I do love that skipping challenge idea. As long as like today's theme, Tuesday's theme, like we said, skill based, I'll explain later. Just put that hashtag adaptability. Show us how well you're getting on changing your day to day routine to fit in with the circumstances we're in. I'm just going to switch sides now and re explain this one. So, like we said yesterday, Guildford really, really committed to following some of the swimming and guidelines about the sprint or stretch, as it's called. Take a knee, you're going to put your other foot, you're switching sides, I'm just going to do this one so I don't have to turn around. Bring your front heel so it's aligned with your back knee. Put your hands on the floor. And like we said yesterday, you're just going to slowly rise up. But then if you tell me all my back rounds, mm-hmm. so if I go up, I think I'm doing a great job. Going really well. Rounded. So you need to sure. flatten out. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the point. Some people, you end up tripping yourselves into thinking that it's in a certain way. And it's just about getting that bit of feedback so that you can, instead of being here, you come down a little bit, fix your back, and really make sure that you're stretching the things that you want to stretch so that you can keep improving. Nicola, yes, I was hoping someone would say the baby shark challenge. Uh, so Jordan, we need you to do the baby shark ab challenge. Tegan is doing it every day. Yeah, I will make sure he does that. Oh God. <laughs> Thank you, Nicola. And T- again, if anything, I think Tegan and Nicola should just put, uh, run all these videos for us. <laughs> They're really be in a good, a good place after a month of this. So yeah, I did this in the last video, guys. Hip stretch. And some of you are super flexible because you're so young and, and mobile. One day you're gonna wake up like me, you're gonna have to start checking in on these things to make sure you're still mobile. So you wanna make sure you're pushing through your hip and not dropping your belly button, like just like, falling out, switching off. Keep everything nice and organized forward and try and really focus on feeling the stretch just there nowhere else we're going to switch sides it's great to see lots of challenge ideas coming in um even if they don't happen on the live stream i will make sure that jordan does as many as possible in videos and we will upload them well jordan's not the only coach that works at the club um, <laughs> we're actually more than happy to see other people joining in yeah helping us out with this because lord knows i'm not going to be able to keep up with the demand. Oh no, you've got a lot of challenge ideas coming down. Handstand walking. 
hands down walking. I'm actually trying to work on learning how to do head position stands. If you guys had a look, um, I think Dave Hemmings done a video yesterday on the I am headstand challenge. So I think British Women put that out. It's really cool to see. Be interesting to see if any of our guys want to get involved in that. Um, hips, then we'll go with lats. So I think we covered the lat stretch yesterday. I'm going to time it, go through. So if you've got the phone roller, you know, show us what you've been up to. Try and stick to the advice I showed you yesterday. The classic one is just go down the hands and knees, reach over, and again, really make sure that your belly button stays in between your knees. So if you go off like this, as a favorite of some of our more mobile swimmers, you've got to make sure that stays there. All the movement just comes from your ribcage, really inside the side. If somebody wants to give that, please feel free to refrain. <laughs> Two people gonna start shooting off for their schoolwork. Down, concentrate on breathing, close your eyes, just focus on feeling that stretch there. If you feel good, just wriggle your fingers forward like little caterpillars, drag your hands away from your head. Uh, sorry for the background noise as well, guys. It was nice and quiet earlier. Um, but let us know if you prefer it outside or inside. Um, just so that we know which one you guys prefer us to do. So middle position, you're going to go head down. So instead of just going for the lat stretch, you're going to turn your thumbs up towards the sky and try and march your hands alternate side to side. So here, turn up. So you won't get a lot of reach on it. You just want to make sure you don't rotate. So especially pretty much every stroke equally. I don't like breaking these things down at the stroke necessarily because I think it's got a lot of value for every athlete um, in terms of trying to look after your shoulders, but especially back strokers, just making sure you've got that control, that you've got to control your body and make sure that all the arm movements can be independent even if you're rotating and turning as one. It'll really help make sure your shoulders stay healthy and robust as you, especially when you come back into training, it's gonna be really important that your shoulders and hips are really strong so that you don't pick up any unwanted injuries when you go back to swimming. Okay, chest stretch, final one for me today. By all means, make sure you're ticking up all these bits and pieces of your own. If you have any ideas of your own, let us know them. If you do other sports as well. Same as the chest stretch. Arm up on a chair, hand on the ground for support. His legs off, sink down. This is just for support, guys. So if you take your hand away, fall down. If it's too easy, just shuffle backwards a little bit. Make sure your elbows above your shoulder. Just work on that position. Just sit back, sit forward. Try to push your hand down. Just get a little bit of tension in there. See if you relax a little bit more. Just swap over sides. Just to finish off, I'm going to cover the challenge. So the challenge that we've set you all today, being in the younger squads, is actually a movement-based challenge. So again, today's theme is adaptability. We all know that the, the government have now said it's best for us to absolutely minimize, uh, to stay at home, unless it's unavoidable, it's essential that we do so. Barring one, one opportunity to go out and exercise a day. So we thought to try and highlight some of that adaptability we're gonna to show to our daily routines, we're going to challenge you all to try and spend 30 minutes learning a new movement skill. So again, some of, our, some of you have already put on some fantastic challenges. We saw, saw the fin challenge over the weekend. I'm going to find out and cry what the, about what the baby shark out challenge is. <laughs> and try and do that. But, I already know what that is, so I can't wait. <laughs> but again, like we said, there's some, there's some swim across gymnasts in the club um, that are fantastic at doing walking handstands, headstands, any sort of gymnastic skill. We want everyone to try and challenge themselves to try and pick one of these up. So that, that my limit, personally, is a frog stand at the minute. So you put your hands on the ground, make sure you've got a parent or someone watching you so you don't pick up any bad habits and you don't hurt yourself. Hands on the ground, inside your knee, elbows inside your knees. It's gonna sit forward. I'm trying to hold that position there without falling face first. Definitely recommend having a pillow there, so something goes wrong. You can 
stuff. That is a little bit of a precursor, it's not perfect, but again, 30 minutes, film yourself a little clips, share with us how you're getting on. And if you've got anything else you want to try and do around that, by all means, post yourself doing it on, on the guild for Twitter or Instagram, or just upload it and we'll share it, tag us with the club hashtag, so hashtag GCSC, hashtag your squad name, so no matter what that is, the regs, cat A, junior cat B, a whole full spectrum. And then hashtag adaptability. We'll make sure that that gets posted, that, um, that gets shared around the club. So we'll see how you're getting on. And again, thanks to all of you for watching in live with us. If you've got any questions, the, the comment is going to be like the lifeblood of, of these videos. Yeah. So anything that you've got, some people emailed, emailed me yesterday and we really appreciate that. It's helped us adapt the format already. Um, I'm really trying to make sure that I keep this as engaging and fun as possible. So the more you engage with us, I'll make sure you get your shout outs and we're really thanking you for your contributions. And I think that's going to do it for me. Make sure you go and get some good breakfast in you, have a drink. And uh, from me and everyone else at, at Guildford City, have a good morning and I'll see you tomorrow.